my name is Kimberly and I am here today to bring you the book buyer tag. I was tagged by Callie and I will link her channel down below. She's wonderful and I feel like she's very underrated as a booktuber. She ha makes amazing videos and I think she deserves a lot more subscribers so please go check out her channel. I would love it if you do that and she totally totally deserves your subscription. Anyway, I will link down below the video that Callie did for the book buyer tag and I will get started now on mine. I have the questions here. The original tag video was by Megan Olivier and I will put her original video down here below and I will also write down below the questions so that if you guys want to do this tag then you have the questions or whoever I tag in this video will also have the questions for that. The first one is where do you buy your books? So I know that this is not great, but I do buy a lot of my books on Amazon. I know there have been some sketchy ethical issues with them and publishers lately, so I have been trying to avoid that, but I do buy a lot on Amazon. I recently made my second ever book outlet order, so I do buy some books on there. And then other than that, I get some books at bookstores. There is a great used bookstore around where I live, and when I was at college, there were some amazing, amazing bookstores in the neighborhood my college was in, and also uh, in other places around Chicago. I always, always love checking out new bookstores, uh, and I also get books on Amazon and Book Outlet. Uh, if I'm ordering a book online, chances are it's on Amazon. The problem is on Book Depository, it's some of them are so much more expensive than on Amazon. And while I feel like I would rather support Book Depository than Amazon, um, in some instances I just go ahead and order it on Amazon. However, there are some books like a lot of the Penguin Classics and the Oxford Classics are about the same price or a couple cents less on Book Depository. So I've been thinking of getting some of those and I, if I do get those I'll definitely be getting them on Book Depository. But to answer the question more concisely, if it's online it's probably from Amazon or Barnes & Noble or Book Outlet. Other than that I like going in lots of bookstores. Number two is do you ever pre-order books? If you do, do you go to the store or do it online, etc. Uh, so, I have pre-ordered the books before. Last month I pre-ordered two books online, but in the past when there was a book that I was super excited about, I pre-ordered it to Books A Million, the bookstore where I live. Also, I remember when the 6th and 7th Harry Potter books came out, I definitely had those pre-ordered. Uh, also, Eldis and Brissinger from the Inheritance series I had pre-ordered at the bookstore, and some other ones like that. Uh, so yes, I have pre-ordered both from the bookstore and online, and I do that sometimes. Especially if it's a book that I'm dying to have right then, I will pre-order it. Three, how many books do you usually buy in a month? A uh, problematic asp aspect of my personality is that I tend to be an all or nothing sort of person. I am not good at pacing myself with things, so I will go months without swimming and then swim a mile, or I will not be running very much and then run seven miles. These are both instances of things that have happened. Or I will go three or four months without buying a book and then order 17 books on Book Outlet, which I just did. So I can't answer the question properly. I will say that in June and July of this year I was binge buying a lot, so then for three or four months I wasn't buying any books. In October I bought six or seven books and then this month I got these 17 books on Book Outlet, which was not good, so we'll see. Um, I'm trying to behave myself, but I can't say an exact book, uh, an exact number of books I buy each month because it's kind of sporadic. Question four, do you use the library? Yes, I use the library so, so much. Five, when you go to the library, how many books do you usually get? Well, <laughs> um, a lot, a lot, a lot. Right now I have about 10 books out and that's not a lot for me <laughs> to have out. Um, last month I read 22 books and a lot of them were from the library. Uh, I go through a lot of library books. Six, what is your opinion on library books? I love the library. I think it's great. I especially love that you can 
read a bunch of wonderful books without having to buy them. I also really like sometimes if there's a book I'm not sure if I love it or not to check it out from the library and read it and if I really love it then I w might go buy the book for myself later. Uh, for instance, I read the Seven Realm series by Cinder William Shima at the beginning of October and I got them from the library but I really want to own those so I'll be getting them relatively soon. And uh, there's another series from years ago that I bought them all in hardcover and then I didn't really like them as much so I try to be careful if it's a book that I know that I will love. Usually I don't buy books unless I know that I will love it or unless I had an accident on bookoutlet.com which has happened to me. But um, <laughs> but usually I have a long list of books that I know that I will love or books that I have read from the library that I now really want to own. But anyway, my opinion on library books is great. I love them and if I love a book from the library then I might buy it for myself. But I think it's a great way to read a lot of books without blowing a bunch of money. And also without ending up with a bunch of books that you just think are okay or that you don't like that then you have to figure out what to do with. Number seven, how do you feel about thrift stores and secondhand shops? I sometimes want my books to be brand new and I'm the first one to have read it, but I do really enjoy sometimes going to secondhand bookshops. There are some really, really great ones in Chicago where I went to school. Myopic Books in Wicker Park in Chicago. If you're ever in Chicago, that is an amazing, amazing secondhand bookstore. And then in Hyde Park, there's uh, just, there are some really great secondhand bookstores in Chicago. And also where I live, there's a nice secondhand bookstore. Sometimes I really like old books, like if it's a classic or a nonfiction book, sometimes I really like them, or I don't mind if it's a little beat up, but a lot of times I like my books to be new. So I enjoy both secondhand books and new books. It just depends on the book and how I feel about it. Number eight, do you keep your read books and TBR books together or separate? Mostly they're not separate because I'm not going to separate series and I just sort them based on on my shelves based on what type of book it is and that sort of thing rather than if I have read it or not. But there are some trends in which there are a bunch of books that I have read and then some other areas where there are some more books that are TBR, but in general they're mixed together pretty well. Nine, do you plan to read all of the books that you own? Of course! If I wasn't planning on reading it, I would get rid of it. And I am planning to read all of the books that I own, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I went through my bookshelves a couple of months ago when I was doing a huge overhaul in my room and I only found two or three books that I decided that I didn't want to read, so I donated those, uh, but in general I don't end up with a lot of books that I don't want to read because I only buy ones that I know I will love. <laughs> 10. What do you do with books that you don't think you'll read or that you read and didn't like? I kind of just answered this. I usually don't have a lot of books that I don't think I'll read or that I read and didn't like because I only buy books when I think that I will love them. But as I said, those three books that I found that I decided that I didn't want to read, I have donated them. And there are four books somewhere up there that I have read and I wasn't huge on them so I might eventually decide to give those away but we'll see. But I don't end up with a lot of books that I didn't like just because I usually like the books that I bought because I don't buy books unless I think I'll love them. 11. Have you ever donated books? Yes, those three books that I found in my room overhaul I have donated them but I don't usually donate books because I only buy books when I think I will love them and so I usually want to add to my collection of books which are very special to me and I don't want to give them away. 12. Have you ever been on a book buying ban? I have been on an instance where I tried to buy less books but I haven't... well okay I kind of was on a bit of a ban in the middle of the summer. Not a, not a formal ban, no. I just tried to take it easy on buying books. I feel like if I was on a formal ban then I would have less self-control and then end up binging and buying a ton of them. But I have before. Earlier this summer I've said to myself I was not going to buy more books unless they are 
a book that is in a series which in which I already own one of the books. That way I could still get books as they came out that I wanted to read. But basically, I have not been on a book buying ban strictly, but I have tried to take it easier on the book buying at various times. Yes. And 13, the last question. Do you feel that you buy too many books? <laughs> so this is kind of a sore time for this question because I just bought 17 books on Book Outlet, which was not good. Especially because I wanted to buy some other books that I've been wanting to buy for a while, but then I ended up getting the ones on Book Outlet instead because their Book Outlet kind of traps you into feeling like oh, the books are there and they're gonna not be there soon and I should get them and it's a good deal. Uh, so, yeah, that was a bit of an issue. Do you buy too many books? Uh, I mean, I love buying books and I plan on reading all the books that I buy. So, I feel like no, but I do buy a lot of books too. And, I mean, if you ask me anytime during the main part of the summer, I hadn't bought books for months, but, you know, now I just bought 17, and last month I bought 7. I think in general, I could take it a little easier, but I'm just gonna own my book buying because I bought the books because I think I'll love them. I think that if I went around buying a bunch of books that I wasn't sure I'd like, then I would say that. But usually I just buy books that I know I'll love. And I buy books that are either, I, I've already read one of the series and I love it and I want to read the rest, or I've read them from the library as I mentioned and so I want to buy them because I love them so much. So yeah, I, a lot of times I test books out at the library first before buying it. So no, I don't feel like I buy too many books. I buy a lot of books, but I don't feel like I buy too many because I'm pretty smart about it. Although. A slight exception may be the book outlet order I just made because there are some books on there that I wasn't really planning on reading, but, or that I wasn't planning on reading until I saw them on book outlet, and so yeah, I'd say those, there are mostly books that I think I'll really like, but some are more iffy, I guess, but usually when I buy books, I buy a lot of books that either I've heard amazing things about the book. I've read a book in the series already, or I own one already, and I really enjoyed it and I want to read the rest, or I've read it from the library and I really want to own it. So I think I'm pretty smart about my book buying, usually. <laughs> it's kind of bad to be saying that right after I just had the slip up on Book Outlet a few days ago, but in general, I think I'm very smart about my book buying and I don't think I buy too many books. I think I buy them intelligently and not compulsively, usually. <laughs> but anyway, that was the book buying tag. Thank you, Callie, for tagging me. It was a fun tag, and I think I better say goodbye because I don't want this video to be too long. If you want to answer any of the questions about your book buying habits, comment down below and I would love to hear what you think. Do you think you buy too many books? Uh, do you read books from the library? I really love the library. So anyway, comment down below and we'll have a great discussion about it. And anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.